Good morning, everyone. What a joy to be planting and seedling because we are in March and uh, spring is around the corner. And I'm so excited to share with you what seedling you need to plant. I have four seedlings to plant right now. And those seedlings I planted last year, and I have to tell you, my garden was flourishing. I had so much harvest. So what I have got, I've got um, beautiful potting soil that's organic, as you could see, very nice and dark and moist, so we need that. And I need my uh, potting tray here, so which I'm going to fill up with soil. If you don't have this uh, potting tray, I mean, you can use little pots like this one. You can use this one here or you can use cup, plastic cup, which is very inexpensive to buy. And it's, it's so nice to be knowing that spring is around the corner and we're going to be out in the garden. Summer is going to be here because it hasn't been really nice and warm here. It's been snowing, it's been cold, it's been miserable, but this doesn't mean we don't get planting, right? Tomatoes, I think it's the number one what people plant in their garden. If they don't do seedling, they buy the plant from the nursery and they put them in their back garden. And the harvest is fairly easy. You can do a lot of things with tomato. I mean, last year I did a lot of tomato sauce and I put them in the freezer. And it's just so amazing. We're in winter and we just, you know, put pasta, with rice, with chicken, and you can do anything with them. Okay, I have a lot of tomatoes here and I'm going to plant all of them, not I'm just going to choose a few today. This is just amazing beef steak. So we're going to do some of that. This is cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to do this one. Oh, this beautiful yellow pear. I mean, I had so much of it. They're sweet, they're lovely for salad. This is the green uh, zebra tomatoes. And it's, it's um, beautiful, it's different. So I'm, I'm going to do these four today. Okay, let's get cracking. What I need to do first, I'm just going to take my little pen and I'm going to just dig a little hole in the middle. And now we're going to do the cherry tomatoes. Oh, I love those one. This one, you can just pick them from the tree and eat them like grapes. Oh, look at this very 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 small okay so this one i'm going to put two just in case because they are very small one two okay now we've got the tomato the yellow pear so i'm going to put this one in i'm going to drop only one this one because they're fairly big and lastly here, I've got the green zebra. So we're going to just drop one. As they are a little bit bigger, that should be okay. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, with my finger, I'm just going to press the soil, cover the seed, That's all we need to do, and we're just going to give it a good water. I'm going to soak it very well and leave it somewhere very nice and warm. You could put them in your kitchen, on your windowsill, or if you have a greenhouse, which is nice and warm, lots of lights. And, uh, or if you want to invest on a heating mat, maybe I can put the description down below, and, uh, and some, uh, some lights. My, my lights I have, I've got them from Amazon. They're really good. And here I've got a heating mat. So I will put that in, uh, below in the description. And the second seed we are going to, we're going to plant is, let's go with this one, cucumbers. I mean, cucumber is juicy, fresh, 
and nice and cool in, um, in the summertime. And I had so, so much harvest. And always you go in there the next day, you're picking. And the more you pick with uh, cucumber and the more they, they grow, the more you have more harvest. Okay, let me see what have I got here. So here I have the green dragon. Yeah, and I have the burpless beauty and this cucumber lemon. I mean, this is my favorite. The next one we should be planting right now is hot pepper chilies. I mean, I had a great harvest last year and it's habanero hot peppers. And this one is hot pepper again, is a jalapeno early. I mean, I had loads of this last year and they are crunchy, they are very spicy. And the next one is cayenne peppers. Ah, oh, they have a blend different. They have the green, the red and the and the yellows and they, they, they're hot, but not as hot as those hot chilies here. Okay, and here I had hot salsa blend and it's all sorts of different colors. And the last one that you need to see now is lettuces. Lettuces is like a, a no brainer. You can just throw the seed on the ground and it just grows. As long as you see your, your soil is fertile and it's um, lots of water and cool place, not too much sun, and it would just grow perfectly. So here I have this colorful, beautiful, it's called um, Latica Salvita. It's, it's a different blend. It's like baby lettuce, different type of, um, of, uh, of lettuce. So which is nice, you have a variety. And while I was just thinking, we, we are already in, uh, in March, time is flying. And it just made me realize uh, that last year, 1st of March, my children was in, um, they started their spring break on the 1st of March. They had two weeks off and they never went back to school until the whole year was gone in, in September and that's where the pandemic is start. And I'm like, whoa, it's been already a year and it hasn't been uh, an easy year. People dying, sickness and um, all sorts of complication and uh, people hasn't been working. And, and you know, I was reading, I just felt like my heart was, was so sad like uh, in, in the no young generation, you know, high school student, even college student in university, feeling very, very low because school is not the same. And some is not even going to school. They are learning on the computer and suicide rate has, has risen drastically. And many, many students I know are on medication because it's so difficult to cope. They can't see their friends, people can't see their family and elderly people as well. So, and the Lord reminded me that, you know, he said to me, peace I give to you. That's the scripture that I'd hold on very strongly to my heart. When we feel like the world is not giving us peace and uh, everything has been stripped away from us, our freedom, our joy, peace and family. And uh, we are so much restricted, but the Lord is saying, peace I give to you. So today I want to encourage you um, God is, is our peace. He's our joy. We just need to hold on to his promises and encourage each other. This is a time where we need to edify each other, encourage each other and pull each other up, not down. So I'm praying that the world will get better. And uh, how would that be? You just only trust in God and knowing that he's still on the throne. And who is that God? His name is Jesus. And, and He is the only God. He is the only way. He is the only life. There is no other way that we can get to the Father in heaven only through Jesus Christ. So today, if you don't know Him, you don't know that God I'm talking about, and I challenge you, call upon His name, say, Lord Jesus, I need you. The world is falling apart. I'm falling apart. I just need your help. And I tell you what, He will meet you where you are. He will rescue you where you are. He will give you peace that nobody else can give you. So God bless you. And I'm just praying that, you know, 
all will be well. And I'd like to see your seedling. I'd like to see what you planted. And please comment and keep watching uh, Eden, my garden. So until next time, God bless you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Guys, a week has gone by. We planted that exactly a week ago. And look at this beautiful seedling. The radishes, the Brussels sprouts, the pak choy, the kohlrabi, the turnips. Really beautiful. Just a week. Just really a week. And wow. So get seedling, everyone.